traffic cameras there on the causeway. If we can uh, pop that up there. All right, okay. there it is. So uh, this was expected. We, there was a coastal flood advisory issue right. for the causeway specifically for this reason that as these storms are going to come in, they were going to pile up a good bit of water into North Mobile Bay. And so as expected, water is washing over the bay. You can see the cars with their hazard lights on there doing exactly what you should not be doing. Right. Uh, driving through those uh, waters and a lot. I mean, it's a, it's above. Wow. That's got to be a foot, oh at least a goodness. foot, maybe half yeah. a foot. Of, like I no. got a feeling some of those cars are going to be stalled right yeah. there before all is said and done. Okay, so, so if you come to a roadway like this, do not drive through it. Please turn around. Don't drown, as we say. Yeah, we're at the mercy of the uh, folks at Algo who are trying to kind of give everyone a kind of a wide view of what's happening. But look at all of that water. I mean, that's got to be at least a foot. Uh, at least eight inches of water well, at least and 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 something we talked about while they're swinging this camera and making me dizzy right uh, but we that. talked about it all morning wow. is that this area and places like the Dauphin Island, Island Causeway, Causeway. Mm -hmm. and Shell Belt Road in Bialabatri and Code End Belt right. Road where we don't have algo cameras not to mention too that high tides coming in, in right about now an hour. right yeah right. so um, if you if you got friends or family stay off the causeway folks Please. don't do what these people are doing i can't believe that this many people are doing something this dumb yeah, i'm not not sure if uh, law enforcement folks are wa maybe watching our coverage but they need to get folks down to the causeway and start closing that down um that's a lot yeah, of water immediately and That's it's and it's still piling up too with the high winds that we're seeing in that part of the yeah the, uh, it's the not going to get better no so. it's it's not I like it like Lexi mentioned high tide I think for the Mobile Bay is right around 120 or 130 what, 126 so it's coming yeah. in, in about 59 so minutes. this water is just going to get higher I think we're going to end up we could end up very well with maybe a foot foot and a half of water over the causeway if this if this continues at its current uh, rate. So again, if, uh, if you're just popping on with us here, we're coming to the bottom of the hour now at 1230. It's now uh, officially 1228 and we are in the middle of team coverage. We have a tornado warning that's in effect for North Mobile and it's northwestern Baldwin County. Uh, we've also got other big weather hazards, strong winds, and now we're seeing major co some coastal flooding, and not just some, this is significant coastal flooding. That what you're looking at there is a live view from the Algo traffic cameras pointed at the causeway. This is at the Bayway intersection at the interchange there, and this is an area that we, we warned about yesterday evening that we were gonna see flooding, and um, we were they expected maybe some washover, but this is a lot more than washover. I mean, we're, we're seeing it live with our own eyes right yeah. now. You can actually see some cars. You can see one is now beginning to turn around, which is basically what everybody should be doing. Don't yep. even, don't even attempt. Yep. At this so point. yeah. So if you were to have any uh, travel plans there to cross Mobile Bay, you need to hold off and just wait for all this to move through. We got to really truth be told, it's going to take a good maybe a couple of hours for that to come off of the causeway. Uh, I know, John, you've seen many instances like this uh, here, and, and the fact that high tide is still approaching, I don't foresee this wrapping up anytime soon. No, this is a hazard that is just going to get worse, and you're already looking at what must be at least a foot of water. Yeah. It only takes six to eight inches of water to float some lighter cars. Right. Uh, so they could just be not even steering at some point. And then, of course, uh, you get water up your exhaust pipe or into your yeah. carburetor, and your your car is not it, not only is it a danger to you, but it could be a very expensive proposition. Yeah. So uh, we're going to keep our eyes on this uh, developing situation. We'll update you um, through the course of the after uh, through the next couple of hours. Right now.